What's up guys, back again with another video. This episode we're going to be learning about static and private interface methods and inside of your interfaces. Um, did I say that? Yeah, I did. Okay, so um, if you don't know static methods, um, we already went over this, so if you don't know what those are, just go back a few episodes, you'll find all about static methods. But we can also do them inside of interfaces, which we're going to see, but um, I just want to say that this, re this was released also during Java 8 update, so that means we have to go here to file project structure and change it to at least eight. But we're actually gonna set it to nine because private interface methods, what we're also gonna learn about today, is gonna be part of the Java 9 update, which is also pretty new. So yeah, make sure you do that. So um, if you don't know, static methods, methods can only be called, uh, well, no, they don't have to only be called, but they can be called independ independently of any object that you make. So you don't have to create a new, uh, object of your class or your interface to be able to use this. Uh, you could just call it um, by referencing it basically. Well, I'll, I'll show you, don't worry. So the point of this is uh, to give us another way that we don't have to implement new methods from your interface, just like we saw with the default methods. We don't have to implement the new methods every time, give them a body and all that crap. So it helps us out a little bit. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna go to source and we're gonna make a new interface here. And again, we're just going to call it animal because, you know, I'm the most uncreative person that ever was uh, born on Earth. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and reference this in... Oh, wait. We need... No, actually, we don't need a class because, remember, um, whenever you have static methods, you don't have to uh, uh, implement them. So, we're just not going to even have a class. So, yeah, so we have interface animal, right? And so, inside of animal, we can have a static interface method. So, we're going to create one. Use the keyword static, of course. So, static... And this will return void, so nothing. And so static void uh, talk, that'll be our method. And good, we have no errors, right? That's good. So we're gonna do this. Oh, <laughs> oh wrong word. Uh, not slut, I mean, oh, right there, shortcut. Um, let's see, let's, let's say blah, blah, blah. No, let's just type random letters because I can't spell. So there we go. So that's how you do that. And um, yeah, so we have our method here. And we could still have regular, you know, concrete methods, which are methods that do need to be an object to, no, they're not concrete. No, 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 I just mean regular method. But anyway, so void talk more, that's just a regular method. And uh, actually it can't have a body, of course, unless it's default. So anyway, that's just a regular interface method like before. But anyway, so if we have a static method, remember that means we don't have to have an object to call it. So we could uh, reference it like this, so animal, and of course we have to import animal, I think, maybe not. Oh no, we don't because it's in the same package as main. So that's good. So we don't have to import it automatically anyway. So we can call it animal, which is the, it, uh, what, <laughs> can't talk. It's the uh, interface name. And then we call dot talk, which is the method, of course, the static method, it has to be static. Don't forget that. So let's call it, let's run it here. Oh, we have an error. So we have an error here. I'm not really sure what it means, but it says Java was compiled using Java 8, so uh, it's trying to use Java 9. So maybe it doesn't work because I'm using Java 8. Like that's the one I that's the JDK I, JD, JDK I installed. So it's possibly conflicting. So yeah, I'm using 1.8 here, so I should probably update this to 1.9. So it's not really working. So I'm gonna try going down to 8 on this. So let's apply that, and now let's try running it. Oh, okay, it works. Interesting. Um, yeah, so it works. It's a static method, and we're using Java 8, of course. So yeah, that works. Uh, good. So now, we're going to move on to private interface methods. And like I said, these were introduced in Java 9. And the rules for this is that it can only be called by default and other private methods. So it can only be called by uh, uh, default methods that we went over last episode. So... Um, let's go ahead and create a default method so we'll be able to test this out. So default uh, void something, doesn't matter what the name is, just default method, oops. Okay, so instead of that we'll have, um, you know, just more random stuff. Okay, so that's what we need. So now let's go ahead and make our private method. So private void um, scream, private void scream. Then of course it has a body, and then ah okay so that's our method here. So we get an error of course because I switched back to Java eight. So we're gonna switch to nine here. Oops. Boom. So we apply that, and there we go. 
And we're going to get rid of the static method because for some reason it didn't want to work with 9 or something like that. So anyway, so let's go ahead and we get there. They're run away, so that's good. We know it works now. So let's call scream inside of here. And awesome, it works. So now we realize that and we know that uh, scream or the private methods will work inside of default methods. And it also the rule was that it works in also um, other private methods. So let's go ahead and make another private method. Scream more. Uh, oh, wait, that's not, not, nope, can't do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and call scream inside of here. And awesome, it works. So, y'all see the point. So if we were to call maybe um, this one, or, you know, yeah, you can only call this one because you can't call the private methods in, like, your main class or your other classes because private, if you remember, the keyword private means that it can only be called inside of its own class. So anyway, um, that's pretty simple, right? So the benefits of this is just that you can not have to repeat code over and over and over. So it's it works like a regular method, you know. So you can, uh, yeah, it just helps you out, you know. So anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. Um, join the Discord. It's in the description. And uh, peace.